Okay, question two. A window glass pane has a width of 0 0.85 meter, height of 1.3 meter, and thickness of 5 millimeter. The temperatures of the outside and inside faces of the window are negative 2 degrees Celsius and 11 degrees Celsius respectively. Calculate the thermal power transported through the window. Okay, given the thermal conductivity of glass is 0 0.84. Okay, so um, now we have a glass pane. Okay, given the width, okay, information we have, we have the width, we have the height, we have the thickness. Okay, the thickness. Uh, okay, just put T, is, this is the thickness, yeah. Um, the temperature outside and inside. Okay, we have two temperatures here. Uh, of course, we always take the, um, yeah, because heat travel from hot to cold. Uh, normally, we take the, uh, the hotter one as the initial temperature and the cold temperature as the final temperature. Okay, find the thermal power transported through the window. So, want to find the power, okay, given the thermal conductivity. So, this is the K, okay. Now, uh, yeah, so we can imagine the window just like this, uh, just like this. So it has width, height, and the thickness. Okay, this is thickness, not time. Huh? This is thickness. So, uh, so for the width and height, actually from the width and height, we can find the cross-sectional area. Okay, cross-sectional area for the heat to flow. Uh, yeah, uh, cross-sectional area. So let's let's find out the cross-sectional area. Yeah, it's a square. Yeah, because window is a square. Uh, is a is a rectangular shape okay so window is a rectangular shape so we can find the cross sectional area width times height let's find out okay width times height and we will get uh, this time these two times together and we will have uh, one point one zero five the unit is both meter so it's meter square okay this is a yeah we have the cross sectional area the width and height and what about the thickness? Okay, thickness is the distance of heat flow. Uh, because you know the heat flow uh, from inside of the house to outside of the house. So, the thickness actually is the X. Uh, distance between the two temperature. The thickness of the window is the, is the X. Uh, because it's... What is x? x is actually the distance between the two temperature, the distance between the initial temperature and the final temperature. That is x. And the thickness is x. Okay? Uh, the heat travel through the thickness of the window. Travel through the thickness of the window. So the thickness of the window is x, the distance between the two temperature. Okay? And we have uh, outside and inside faces of uh, temperature. So the outside is negative 2, inside is 11. So it seems that outside is cold temperature. Yeah? Outside of the house is cold, inside of the house is hot. Uh, you see? Outside, outside temperature is negative 2. So it's, outside is cold, maybe winter. Yeah, it should be winter. Inside of the house, uh, yeah, inside of the house, we have a fireplace, uh, so it's hotter at the inside, uh, 11, okay? And so from here, we can see that uh, heat always flow, we know that heat always flow from hot to cold temperature, okay? Uh, the net heat flow always from hot to cold temperature. Uh, so the heat actually flow from inside to outside of the house, through the window through the thickness of the window. So, we can say the inside of the house, uh, 11 degrees Celsius, which is a hot temperature, okay, that is the initial temperature. Uh, because heat always flow from hot to cold. So, it starts from hot temperature. So, the hot temperature is the initial temperature, which is 11 degrees Celsius. Yeah? And then the heat flow to, uh, 
to the outside. Yeah, outside has a cold temperature, negative 2 degrees Celsius. So, um, the cold temperature is the final temperature. Yeah, because heat flow from hot to cold. So, the cold temperature, negative 2, is the final temperature. And that is how we see initial temperature and final temperature. Okay, remember that. Heat always flow from hot to cold. The cold is the final temperature. So, negative 2 is the final. So, you must identify which one is initial temperature and which one is the final temperature. Uh, that is the most important thing for heat conduction. Okay? And um, so, we have the thickness of the window, which is 5 mm. Uh, so, definitely, this is the, this is the uh, X later on. Yeah? X later on, which is a uh, millimeter. You need to change to meter. Milli is negative 3. Okay? And we have the thermal conductivity of glass, K, which is 0 0.84 uh, watt per meter per Kelvin. Okay? Now, um, yeah, the temperature is in degree Celsius. Degree Celsius. Do we need to change to uh, Kelvin? Do we need to change Kelvin? Uh, the thermal conductivity is in Kelvin? No need, yeah? Because we are dealing with change of temperature here. Uh, we are dealing with, still remember what I said before? Uh, this is using the change of temperature, okay, uh, about change of temperature. So, when talking about change of temperature, you can, um, both unit accepted, you can either, you can leave it at degree Celsius or you can put it in Kelvin, okay. Uh, the change of temperature can have two units, yeah, either one. You can, uh, you can use degree Celsius or you can use Kelvin uh, because, remember that, uh, the increase, the increase of one degree Celsius is equivalent to increase of one Kelvin. The change, the change in um, either unit is the same. Okay. Now, um, so we can maintain at degree Celsius. No need to change Kelvin. And yeah, about the thermal power he asked for. Okay, this is the thing. What is actually thermal power? What is power? Power is actually Power is actually energy over time, isn't it? Uh, energy over time. So we are talking about energy over time. So what is the thermal energy? Uh, he's talking about thermal power. So it's, this energy is thermal energy. What's the thermal energy? Yeah? What's the thermal energy? What is the energy being flow? Yeah? Flow through the window. Uh, of course, it's the heat, isn't it? The heat, heat, heat energy over time, which is the thermal power is actually dQ over dt, the rate of heat flow. Uh, so the thermal the thermal power is actually the rate of heat flow. Uh, so which is this one? Okay, uh, thermal energy over time, which is the heat over time, which is uh, dQ over dt. So, the thermal power is actually the rate of heat flow. Okay? So, dQ dt is actually the thermal power. The thermal power is the same as rate of heat flow. So, he asking for rate of heat flow. Uh, yeah? So, actually, the thermal power is rate of heat flow, dQ over dt. So, you must know this. Now, uh, so let us use this formula, the heat conduction formula, dQ over dt equal to negative Ka dt over dx. So, dQ over dt is actually the thermal power. Okay, negative Ka. So, we already have K. We have the A. A is the width times height. Cross-sectional area, the rectangular shape. Uh, 1.105. And uh, change of temperature is the final temperature minus initial temperature. So, this, temp this is the change of temperature. We can maintain as degree Celsius. And, um, yeah, the final temperature. Final is the... The cold temperature, the initial temperature is the hot temperature because heat always flow from hot to cold. Uh, okay, uh, again, I want to emphasize this is actually final is always the cold, uh, initial is always the hot. Uh, initial is always the hot. Heat always flow from hot to cold. So initial start from hot, final is cold. Okay, so now uh, X is the thickness, yeah, because the heat. The heat flow through the thickness of the window, uh, which is T. 
So we have everything to find the thermal power. So we just substitute. Okay, so the power is uh, negative. K is um, uh, 0 0.84. Yeah, 0 0.84. And what is the uh, area? Area is uh, 1.105. Uh, we got 1.105. And what's the final temperature? Final is the cold temperature. Yeah? Final temperature is the outside temperature, cold one, negative 2. Uh, negative 2 uh, minus the initial temperature, which is hot, 11. Uh, 11. And over the thickness, the thickness, x. x is the thickness. Uh, 5, negative 3, so 5, negative, sorry, 5, negative 3, meter, okay, uh, so all in SI unit already, yeah, yeah, everything is in S SI unit, um, okay, so what's the answer? Of course, here you get negative, negative 2, negative 11, become negative 13, negative, negative, become positive. Yeah, so remember, our power also will get positive. Don't get negative value. Huh? You get negative value means you are wrong. So positive, what answer is that? Uh, after you calculate, you will get 2413.32 Watt. Okay, or the answer can be in Joule per second. Uh, because energy over time, energy over time. So it's Joule per second. Yeah, or just put watt. So rate of heat flow, the unit is actually uh, watt. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so very simple. So the thickness of the window is the x. Yeah. The important thing here in this question is the thickness of the window is the uh, x, the distance between the two temperature, and always heat always flow from hot to cold temperature. So the heat start from start to flow from the hot temperature should that should be the initial temperature. The heat flow from hot to cold. Uh, cold is the final temperature. Yeah. So the the lower temperature is the final temperature. So when we're talking about change of temperature, we always take the final minus the initial. Initial is hot. Final is cold. So it's cold minus hot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thermal power is the same as rate of heat flow. Okay, so the P is, uh, yeah, the P is, uh, the P is uh, DQ over DT. Okay, remember that? P is DQ DT, power is rate of heat flow. And that's it. The, the, uh, the unit is watt, yeah, for the rate of heat flow, the thermal power. Okay, so I hope you understand. Okay, let's proceed to question three.